Hi, welcome to this series of Radius's 5G demo videos. In this video, we will demonstrate a peak cell throughput of 6.7 gigabits per second on a 5G network over a millimeter wave spectrum using Radius's scalable G Node B data unit software. The video will also showcase how Radius's 5G DU dynamically activates secondary cells to enhance the throughput of a primary cell and leverages unique worker thread architecture to increase network capacity and reduce latency. Let's look at the demo setup. The Radius's 5G next generation node B is disaggregated into two software modules, a G node B centralized unit called CU and a GNodeB distributed unit called DU. The disaggregated CUDU architecture leverages 3GPP release 15.3.0 compliant interfaces. For the user equipment, a simulated Radius's 5G UE is used. When a 5G UE is activated, first it performs the RRC procedure towards the GNodeB successfully. Next, UE attempts NAS registration procedures and successfully registers to the network. After the registration, UE initiates a PDU session establishment procedure to get an IP address from the network. Once the session is established, the end user can access the data network services. Now let's look at the Radius's 5G DU architecture. The Radius's 5G distributed unit has 3GPP release 15.3.0 compliant protocol layers, namely Radio Link Controller, Medium Access Controller, 5G NR Scheduler. Radius's DU supports a unique scalable worker thread architecture, which executes tasks of each layer in parallel, enabling carriers to reduce latency in data processing, as well as dynamically scale the services based on the network load. The simulated Radius's 5G UE is configured to simulate across multiple cells and support multiple UEs. The front hall between the Radius's 5G G Node B DU and the Radius's 5G UE simulator communicates over 10 gig SFP connections to enable the DP DK transport. To achieve the peak cell throughput of 6.7 gigabits per second on a 5G network over a millimeter wave spectrum, we've used 8 UEs per TTI per cell, 4 layer downlink transmission, 6 carrier aggregated cells, TD mode of 3-1 downlink uplink slot ratio, millimeter wave with numerology equals 3 carrier bandwidth of 100 megahertz per cell, and an IP packet size of 1470 bytes. Let's now look at the live demonstration. First, we will activate the UE simulator, which can be seen on the top right corner. Next, we will activate the 5G DU network element. On the top left corner of the screen, we have the G node B DU coming up. And now we have the 5G Radius's DU module ready. Let's trigger the 5G UE simulator to register all the 8 UEs to the Radius's 5G DU, one after the other, which you can see on the top right corner of the screen with different RNTIs. The message NUM Active UEs 8 on the Gino B DU screen indicates that all 8 UEs are successfully registered on the Gino B DU module. And we have the same confirmation from the UE Sim console print for all 8 UEs. We will now start the downlink data service from the G Node B DU to the 5G UE simulator. On the UE simulator screen, you can notice the full throughput of each of the attached UEs on the primary and secondary cells. On the bottom of the screen, let's look at the CPU load on the DU. The current ongoing demo is executed upon two worker threads with a CPU load of 80% of approximately 3 gigabits per second of traffic. Let's scale the system dynamically to achieve peak data throughput of 6.7 gigabits per second. As the traffic is increased, you can notice that the one more worker thread is automatically instantiated to balance the CPU load dynamically. The CPU consumption of each worker thread has drastically reduced, enabling DU to handle higher capacity. Now as we further increase the traffic, you can observe on the top right corner of the screen that the cumulative throughput of the UE simulator has increased to 6.7 gigabits per second. This successfully demonstrates how Radius's 5G DU achieves a peak cell throughput of 6.7 gigabits per second on a 5G network over a millimeter wave spectrum. 
Thank you for watching the video. To learn more about Radisys 5G software solutions and expertise, visit us at radisys.com.